okay. <laughs> uh, from those, I don't know, what uh, spiritual emotionalism, uh, we're going to go to uh, see Mary Beale, who was an English portraitist of the uh, 17th century. And this is probably, uh, there's several uh, self-portraits that she's done. This is probably the most famous of them uh, because it's reproduced several places from 1666. Uh, Mary Beale was the first professional female artist in England. Her father was a Puritan minister and an amateur painter, and he had his daughter uh, well-educated. Um, she didn't, she actually, this is kind of interesting, she actually got married first and then began an apprenticeship. Um, she became the family breadwinner. We've heard this before, haven't we? <laughs> uh, this is a portrait of her husband, uh, which is a very informal portrait. She's wearing a, it's obviously a personal portrait. He's wearing a simple garment. You know, he's not uh, trying to, to show high social status in this. Uh, but uh, her husband assisted her. He primed the canvases, he mixed the paints, he took care of the business records. Some of the records that he kept still exist, and that's why they know some of these things about her. And he actually um, also uh, had became a picture dealer uh, and an expert on Italian art. So he did branch out from just uh, uh, working with his wife. Um, the the self-portrait of Mary Beale shows a very formal pose uh, with the drapery and beautiful garments and uh, uh, curled hair with the little, um, what do they call that, a uh, little teaser or something, little, the little curl that goes over her shoulder. Um, very fashionably dressed. So it's showing she's successful, she's well dressed. And it also refers to her, prof so not only to her social status, but also to her professional status. Uh, on the wall, we see a large palette and then her hand is resting on a portrait of her two sons. So she's you know, saying, you know, I have this uh, you know, social status, I am an artist, and I am also a mother. Uh, the, one of the sons, um, I think was named after her uh, husband, Charles, um, did become a painter. Now, one of the things that's always said is that she was very strongly influenced by Sir Philip uh, Lilly. Uh, who was a court painter, a very fashionable painter of the time. Um, and so I wanted to show a lily uh, with a uh, Mary Beale to show you the, the connection here. And so I found uh, these two. Uh, this painting is not signed by Mary Beale, the one on the, with the red garment, uh, but it's uh, been attributed to her. And uh, there's a similarity in these because they're both out in nature with the beautiful garments, uh, sort of in a somewhat informal pose. Um, you may notice that uh, the lady uh, painted by Mary Beale has a sheep next to her. And the sheep uh, sometimes was an attribute of St. Agnes because the name in Latin, Agnes, is sheep, and Agnes is, uh, you know, almost the same name. Uh, so it becomes an attribute of, uh, so maybe her name was Agnes. Uh, maybe she's not St. Agnes, maybe she's uh, just Lady Agnes. We don't know uh, who it was exactly. She was friends with Lily, and uh, he invited her over to view his work and copy his collection. Uh, she was not his pupil. Uh, sometimes they say she was his pupil, but she was not. But she was a friend. Um, one of the things that happened to women artists is uh, there are nasty people who often will say, and you've heard this in other, um, other fields as well, uh, when a woman is successful, a lot of times they say, oh, she must be sleeping with the boss. And so someone started the rumor that they were lovers, which is a total calumny. Uh, it's, it's a slander. It's not true. Um, her biographer points out that she was known as an irreproachable wife and an excellent mother. And uh, her husband, uh, in his, his writings, he calls her his dearest heart. So they evidently had a very close and loving relationship. Uh, at least that's what it seems to be. Uh, I'm just going to show you a few other uh, pic uh, pictures by Mary Beale. Uh, this one's a little bit different. It's a, a picture of a young lady uh, in profile view. A little more lively, actually, because it's a little more informal. Uh, and here's some uh, male portraits. Uh, one is of a physician, uh, and the other is, I think he's a baronet. 
And she has all of these pictures uh, in these little uh, frames, uh, painted frames, of uh, different uh, peers of the realm. And this, uh, we don't know who the woman was. Uh, it's in the National Museum of Women and the Arts. So I, I took this picture and, and tried to get a little detail of the lace. Just a woman wearing black hood and white lace. Ah, now 